Good morning, Eagles and families. <laughs> Welcome to our 2024 graduation. Uh, my name is Alex Puyoyo. I will be your MC for the night. And right now, I'll be introducing the man, the myth, the legend, our principal, Mr. Lamb. Good evening, everybody. Please feel free to have a seat. Have a seat, everybody. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, once again, um, I want to get, extend a warm welcome to you all. Thank you for being here on a wet Seattle evening for this beautiful graduation day. I want to welcome Cleveland families, Cleveland staff, central office leaders, school board members, and most importantly, welcome Cleveland High School's class of 2024 to your graduation ceremony. <laughs> Graduates, I want to invite you to think back on your life in September 2020. You were about 14 years old. You were probably listening to the number one song in America at that time, which was, of course, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. You probably were watching the most streamed movie in the world at that time, which, of course, was none other than Frozen 2, Frozen 2. And you started using this little niche web app that has since become a household utility, a video conferencing platform called Zoom. You joined the Cleveland community not by walking our halls, but by opening your laptop. You met your peers as little avatars on the screen. You got help from all of your teachers through a chat box. Class of 2024, you started with an unstable, uncertain, and disconnected launch to your high school careers. And the instability for you continued with you throughout your high school careers. I am your fourth principal in four years. But seeing how this year went, you wouldn't know it because you've created a community of belonging, of fun, of celebrating one another, of joy, and of academic excellence. We might have set a record this year for community events, and that's because of you. How do you build a strong, diverse, vibrant community together when everything around you feels so turbulent? How do you fight for a future of hope from an impossible, unprecedented starting point? Class of 2024, these are impossible questions to ask, but you have been collectively providing the answers, and I suspect you will continue to answer these questions for a very long time. I want you to know that you didn't accomplish everything that you have on your own. You have people in your corner who have helped you, supported you, and guided you to reach this moment today. There are, of course, the first teachers in your life, your parents, guardians, family members, and loved ones. You also have your teachers, mentors, religious leaders, counselors, and other trusted adults. You also have a few people who have helped keep us safe throughout the year. I have to take a moment to recognize and show so much love to our security team, Ricky Davis and Dave Rosario. Yeah, Dave Rosario! And they've done their work under the strong leadership of Mike Wells and Ben Coulter. Thank you for keeping us safe and for always taking care of us. Now is the time to recognize you and show you our love. If you have one, I want you graduates to go ahead and take out your phone. Go on, take out your phone for a quick moment. And I want to invite you to please take a quick photo of the people here today who are celebrating you. And let's celebrate them. Of the people celebrating. Take a selfie with them in the background. Go ahead and take, do that right now. Take a quick video, take a quick picture. This, I was joking with many of you in the back uh, before this event, 
but this is, even though it's raining and uh, it's a little bit wet out here, this is a very special moment and a moment you'll want to remember for the rest of your lives. Class of 2024, we are so proud of you. We are inspired by you. You are a compassionate, intelligent, and relentless community of young people who will fight for a better world. And we are ready to follow your lead. Congratulations, Class of 2024, and welcome once again to your commencement. I would like to ask everyone to please stand for the Black National Anthem. While we stand up, I would like to introduce the people performing this. Um, Cameron Page with our vocals and Isaac Draculin with our piano. Uh, Cameron Page is uh, the ASB class president. She's pretty cool. And uh, Isaac Draculin is like the biggest part in the music uh, department slash program. So let's give them another round of applause. Yet with a steady 
That was an amazing performance. Everyone, you can take your seats. Wow. Can I hear it one more time for them? <laughs> so um, next, we're going to be having some student speeches. Our next speaker, she has been ASB president for three years, a big part of our community, volleyball captain, and I've known her for like so, so long. Give it up for Karina Tanabe. Thank you, Cameron and Isaac. Good evening, and thank you for attending the Cleveland Class of 2024 graduation. To our families, friends, and staff, your unwavering support to the graduates is appreciated. My name is Karina Tanabe, and it has been my privilege to serve as your freshman class president, sophomore and junior class president, and finally, as your associate student body president. High school for us has been quite a journey. We navigated through four different principles, endured a year of online learning, transition transitioned back to in-person learning, and managed to stay on top of everything else. Despite the challenges we face as a class, we've also celebrated significant victories. We initiated the Cleveland Tree Project, clearing the area to establish a community garden. We hosted a successful prom, and our class boasts the highest number of 3.2 and 3.8 GPA cords in Cleveland's history. Although we started our journey online and somewhat disconnected, we ended it through events like Senior Sunrise, Sports Games, Senior Sunset, and even a memorable sleepover in the parking lot. When I think about writing something that will resonate with you all, I remember a poem Sophia wrote during our freshman year. Side note, if you know me or if you don't know me, ask Alex and anybody. My memory is pretty bad, so I want to emphasize the impact that Sophia's poem made on me. Though we didn't share the same humanities class, she had Mr. Gandhi while I had Mr. Dreeben, she read her poem during our end of the year celebration on Teams. We had, we had been writing about poetry, uh, we had been writing poetry about Molly, and Sophia's poem was about a mother's experience as her city burned. I vividly remember the impact of the first few sentences. The first line was, if my mother was a color, she'd be red, a fierce and blazing hot red that made the, the hairs on your neck stand straight up should be a red that stung your eyes and made them water if you took too long of a glance. Well, this is only the first line of the poem, and I can't replicate how she read it. The impact of the poem and the feelings that came through it will forever influence um, how I think about writing for an audience. I want to make an impact. From the start of freshman year, we were bombarded with questions about our future. What field do you want to go into? Are you aiming for any schools in particular? And where do you want to see yourself in 10 years? While these questions are important, we get so caught up in the stress and pressure of our futures that we lose out on the high school experience. While I was talking to my classmates about what they had wished they had done throughout high school, majority of the people I talked to wished they would have connected with more of their classmates instead of only reaching out at the end of the year. They wish they had more time. We can regret missed opportunities for the, in high school for the rest of our lives, but we can't go back and change anything. Instead, we should appreciate that we got to know each other better, even if it was in the end. We were still able to share moments, create memories, and experience a bit of life together. Mixi Menes held a community circle at the end of the year to help us close out our high school experience. They talked about what a grounded goodbye is and how we can take this with us through life. It's about accepting that there's an end to something, but at the end of something, there's also the beginning of another. When I was writing my speech, I came to realize that I'm not losing you all. Um, I hope to see you in 10 years at a reunion. But until then, I can live with you all through the experiences, feelings, and little things that have shaped me into who I am today. When I talk about wh who makes me Corey, I also want you to reflect and appreciate the people that have truly made you a whole person. For me, it's small things, like how the lake reminds me of Phoebe, and when she first took me to swim there. It's about how some people call me cores, about cherry lip scrub, Chipotle and car talks, Layla and I sitting at table seven with two more people than we're supposed to have, 
and how I crack my back the same way Alex taught me to a year ago. I'm a little bit of, Sophia, uh, of Sophia's poem from freshman year and how I still have that Pokemon card a sophomore gave me in the hall when I was sad. I'm a little bit of all of these people because of the life I've experienced with them. I'm also me because I grew up watching the care my grandparents put into their communities. I've seen how important it is to connect with others, be present, and love what I'm given now. Seniors, the world changes, and with a changing environment, we need to grow and evolve with it. Take what you've learned through your K-12 through journey with you as you navigate after high school. Always remember to appreciate the people who bring your life joy. I continue saying, this is only the start of summer. We have plenty of time, because I refuse to acknowledge the end of this era. Let's face that, the end of, that this is the end of us here, but remember that with this end also comes a, a beginning. You have the valuable opportunity to wake up each day and experience life, other people, and things. The most important thing is the world is outside, so don't forget to look up and experience what it has to offer. Class of 2024, yesterday's gone, so what will you do today? Thank you. That was a wonderful speech from Corey. Wow. She was really a, she's really a wise soul. Um, so we're going to have another student come in up to speak. You might have heard them sing earlier. Give it up for Cameron Page. Sorry, I have to adjust the mic. I'm tall. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and above all, the remarkable class of 2024. Now, some of you may know me as your class president, or the person who you heard every day over the intercoms laughing at silly dad jokes and talking about sports, or even as that one person who did a tri flip trying to run for class president. But either way, whatever you know me as, today I will be one of the amazing people giving your commencement speeches. Today is a day of celebration, reflection, and a whole lot of anticipation. We are gathered today to mark the culmination of years of hard work and dedication, but we also stand on the threshold of new beginnings. Over the past four years, we as a class have grown, and not just in the physical sense, We've grown as people. We arrived as freshmen, fully online. Most of us didn't even see each other's faces until our sophomore year. Along the way, we learned not only to navigate Teams calls and Zoom calls like pros, but also learned to navigate exams, projects, and unexpected obstacles, whether that be at school or as individuals. We celebrated victories, both big and small, and formed bonds that'll last a lifetime. Now, I'm not just gonna stand here and tell you that high school was some of the best years of your life, because for some it wasn't. And the Cleveland class of 2024 has definitely has had its struggles. We've seen a lot from long-term subs to four different principals. Thank you, Mr. Lamb, for being the final. <laughs> we have been through the ringer, but truly taking the time to look back on it all, we have done nothing if not strive and grow. I'd like to take a moment to thank the families and friends here tonight whose unwavering support have been anchors through our highs, highs and lows. I can't tell you how many times I've come home crying to my dad about one bad grade on a math, on a math exam or how I've co complained, about, complained to my mom about how inconvenienced I was by a teacher's assignment or even talked to my sister, a former Cleveland graduate, about a teacher we both shared. A big thank you for my family to listening to me yap, even now, but I'm getting off track. To our teachers and mentors, thank you for your guidance, wisdom, and for pushing us to reach our full potential. Not only have you passed on knowledge within and outside of your curriculum, but you have also instilled in us values of determination, perseverance, integrity, and compassion. As we flip to a new chapter in life, it's important to know that we are not closing a book. 
it may feel like this is your happily ever after, but what happens after we move forward is up to you to decide. This moment is not the end of our stories. Class of 2024, we have a lot more fighting left to do. The challenges we face stepping into the world are multifaceted, from climate change and genocide to technological advancements, social justice, and global health issues. We have a lot to prepare for, but if there's one thing I have learned from here is that we are ready to face issues like this head on. We are a generation that has grown up in a rapidly changing world. We are adaptive, resilient, and innovative. At Cleveland, we as a class have learned to embrace diversity, to value collaboration, and to find creative solutions to the problems before us. I can say we do different better. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Our time here has not only equipped us with knowledge, but has also given us the confidence to forge our own paths, to tell our own stories, and to write our own fates. Class of 2024, if there's anything I want you to take from my long speech, is that life comes in seasons, seasons of change, seasons of struggle, but most of all, seasons of growth. But through all of this, you have to keep your North Star. This is not the end of our journey. We have the power to shape our own trail. We have the power to make a future better for everyone. The road ahead of us may be winding and even hard to navigate at times, but I have no doubt that we will rise up and face the challenges that lie ahead of us, just as we have time and time again. Congratulations, class of 2024. The future is ours to shape and ours to make. So let's do our best to make it extraordinary. Thank you. That was also another great speech. Uh, she was talking about life comes in seasons, and that's, that's super true. So I just want to take a moment to say, if you ever need help, uh, don't be afraid to reach out to a friend or a loved one. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Um, also, we've had so much talk about just, like, uh, online school. And since we have all the seniors here and our families watching, raise your hand if you, like, slept during online school. Like, did you guys sleep through the classes? I would like to also ask for another round of applause for that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, so for our next speech, um, we have, um, he's a man who plays a lot of music. He loves guitar and his family and his friends. And um, his name's Forrest Williams. Hello. School is an amazing place. It is such an amazing place, and I am grateful that it's where I've been for the majority of my life. It is a great opportunity that we've been forced into this place of so many other unique individuals and experiences. The lessons learned extend far beyond the classroom. I know I've grown and changed thanks to the situations that school has put me in. And beyond that, Diversity. School, like our school, honors and presents it so well. Multicultural night is such an amazing thing. Where else would I have seen Filipino tinkling, taiko drumming, lion dance? It's really cool, man. And it's amazing that we all have that opportunity to share our cultures and see that. <laughs> what else? Well, I know I have learned something that from my lack of involvement with school that I ask you all to consider. That I missed out on a lot of opportunities to learn more, to get involved more, to do more things and experience more other people, all that kind of thing. But the lesson I learned from that is that if there's something you want to do, you gotta do it. If there, you have an inkling of interest in anything, you might as well try it because it's great. You never know what you're gonna fall in love with. And we all have dreams big and small, young and old, and to find those memories and make those memories is, I ask you, I encourage you all to find the way to live those things, live those dreams, and I hope you can all end your life with memories, not regret. Thank you, that's all I have to say. Uh, 
Uh, now we have another speech, but it's not from a student. It's, uh, it's from, from a coach, from a security guard, and it's also from a player. His name is Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis. I'm not sure what he meant by player, but, <laughs> well, welcome parents, esteemed staff, and more importantly, the class of 2024. Proud of you guys. My name is Ricky Davis, and I served as a security specialist for Seattle Public School since 2007. I've been a proud Cleveland Eagle since 2012. And standing before you today, I am filled with pride and gratitude to be part of this momentous occasion. As a security specialist, my job has been to secure your safety, but along the way, I have had the pleasure of witnessing your growth and resilience. One thing I want to say about the importance of perseverance is that you never give up. Life will have trials and tribulations that you will have to fight through. Just keep in mind that every minor setback is an opportunity for a major comeback. As you travel through the next chapters in your life, whether it's going to college, joining the workforce, or any pursuits or endeavors you may choose, stay focused and believe in yourself and never let anyone tell you you can't achieve your goals. In closing, I want to thank each and one of you for the memories and inspiration you provided me, and I am confident that you will go on to achieve great things. Congratulations, class of 2024. You have made it and the future is yours. Now go out and make us proud. Go Eagles! What an amazing speech from Mr. Davis. Give him one more round of applause, please. Uh, we're gonna have Mr. Lamb back on the mic. Give it up for Mr. Lamb. Cleveland High School, class of 2024, it is now time. It is now time. It is time to celebrate your graduation by reading your names into the record. Our staff ushers will now direct each individual row to stand and move to the outside of your row, where you will be directed to the main stage. As your name is read by either Mr. Tyson Coyano or by Mix Isauda Jimenez, please pick up a diploma cover and move to the center of the stage. As you make your way down, please stop to take a picture with our photographers, and then please wait to sit down until your entire row has returned. We will repeat this process until all students have been recognized. Alex Diego Flores Payoyo. Karina Tanabe. Evelyn McGurl. Cameron McKell Page. Kylia Grace Williams. Forrest Williams. Charlene Cassio Quinto. <laughs> Isaac Gregory Bernardo Draculin. Nina Tai Tran. Julie Fan. Rita Wenming Ngo. Cedric Jacob Mayo. 
Anaides Garcia Mendoza. Sean Chen. Freddie Garcia Cruz. Dylan Barton Bagley. Jasmine Radcliffe. Mikhail Fentahoon. Quincy Spivey. Liam Scott Barnes. Katie Woodside. Minka Bull Pursley. Ruby Hannah. Morrison Helton. Addison Victoria Provit. Matthew Chan. Helene Ariolmas. Brian Quinn Pham. Jay Nguyen. Reese Koichi Nguyen. Nathan Tudo Nguyen. Miguel Angel Running Hawk. Timo Herlihy. Chris Gray Blanco. Taylor Ophoven. Joshua Raja Reeves. Royal Chioli Gleaves. Jaheem Haywood. Cody Zihao Wu. Jalia Haywood. Connie Tai. Lamia Patterson Williams. Ying Yi Li. Ella Weto. Kenneth Owen Devera. Khadija Abdul Hamid. Kevin Chen. Misha Brown, Finister. <laughs> Sophia Lee. JD Santos Terrado. Zi Ying Sao. Margaret Leakty. Andy Chen. Bella Louie. <laughs> Tiffany Ha. Delilah Ten Yan Saturn. Uh, Camila Briseno Esparza. V. Nguyen. <laughs> Vivian Nguyen. Karina Gi. G. Elisa Lee. <laughs> Jenny Lay. Narasakin Ali. V. Kevin Wynn. <laughs> Amy 
Jimmy Lee. Congrats. Samaya Ali. Zulika Ibrahim Ismail. Nah, fam. Yu John Sao. Congrats. Yi Chong Ma. Taiken Ryan Ho. Chi Wei Guan. Emily Louie. David Hong Lee. Diana Quinn. Derek Mala. Shirley Quinn. Andy Thatch. Olivia Duong. Henry Tran. <laughs> Taylin Fung. <laughs> Philip Nguyen. Jermaine Aliyah Carbonell. Jenny Vong. Yeah. Luong Lu. Brandon. Ryan Wynn. Brandon Lee. Donna Nguyen Bach. Leanne Tran. Darwin Wong. Hayden Malachi Young. Rafael Isla. Harrison Chung. Victor Du. Tevin Gleason. Anison Chin. Tyler Dragon Saw. Yared Jonathan Thayas. Brian Fung. Austin Trung. Fung Ting. Bryant Lay. Hun. Matthew Genesis Guillermo Ayagan. Allison Eris Mondok Sevilla. Hunter Luke. Benjamin Huang. Jordan Luke Chow. Chichu Zay Law Jackson. Donovan Gray Achilles Jackson. GM Charles Molina. Emma Ismail. Lawrence Paras. Robert Larson. <laughs> Lily Ding. Ryan Childs. Go, Ryan! <laughs> Jason Tang. <laughs> Layla 
Ismael. Cha Chi Tong. Leanne Trong. Shayan Huang. Ni Wen. Leopoldo, Isaiah, Amador, Reyes. Colin Tunalom. Jennifer Diaz Casadera. Ziwan Chan. Maya Sophie Lenayo Robertson. Frida Flores Bautista. Paige Jacqueline Lenayo Robertson. Carmen Ray. Lillian Tran Lee. Gabrielle Trung An Nguyen. Faduma Yusuf. Tiana Say Chow Sabelio. Hamdi Ali. Samaya Mohammed. Ishra Ahmed Hassan. Sanaya Leilani Lenar Bernier. Emma Kakuna. Heya Omar. Amy Kakuna. Hersey Hersey. Chase Gunther. Raina Lauren Lee. Ruth Barrera Martinez. Anasita Kaling. Brian Gonzalez Orozco. Dylan Lee. Franvel Florian Jr. Sharmake Moomin. Luis Fernando Medrano. Kai Prescott Lewis. <laughs> Jose Alberto Flores Roman. <laughs> Future music producer, graphic designer, Marcellus Clayton. <laughs> Leon Leroy. Abdul Samed, Abdul Samed. Jaden Small. Yeah, brother. Abdi Ibrahim Omar. Damian Daly. Zane Iflin. The Big Eagle, Amari Harris. 
Shema Sheik. Arlen Pestañas. Amir. You didn't say it louder. Amir. Yeah, Amir. You have to. Yeah. Aitaline Raymond. Abukar Hassan. Yeah. Ona Kellner Donaldson. Nardine Mohammed. Yeah. Yeah. Ava Chong. Yusuf Hassan. Oh, yeah. Dryden Bell. Yasin Abdullahi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mariama Kebe. Shuaib Kasim. Nastejo Haji. Laul Mengusto. Yeah! Sundas Tria. Nahom Makonan. Aini Ali Mohammed. Kalia Sophia Kwan. Fati Abdullahi. Phoebe Izumi Hinton. Susan Hersey. Jackson. <laughs> Helena Takala. Leora Greenwich. <laughs> Ava Vincent. <laughs> Snooky Lynn Gabuyo Salvador. <laughs> Kamora Chun Puk Ved. Ella Downey. Nathan Rainey. Stella May. Owen Michael Tatterson. Tyler Scott Barnes. Derek Tong Wade Mongbang. Tolina Spates. Jude Reich. Matiana Nampung Bilapung. Zaid Bazaz. <laughs> Veronica Lee. Yeah, Veronica. Desmond Collins. <laughs> Robel Enriquez. Trey Anderson. John Breland. Khalil Ahmed. Salim Aboud. 
Elijah Lavelle Otieno Quinn. Johanna Tawelda. Lalia Johannes. Winston Cole. School Board Director Brandon Hersey, as a proud principal of Cleveland High School, I formally present and recommend for graduation the students of the graduating class of 2024 from Cleveland STEM High School. These students have met all the graduation requirements and are deserving of all the honors, rights, and privileges pertained thereto. Do you accept? On behalf of the Seattle Public School Board and the citizens of Seattle that we represent, I hereby accept the Cleveland High School Class of 2024. Congratulations on your graduation. You have done it. Graduates, graduates. Our ceremony is nearing its completion. However, uh, in just a moment, we're gonna invite someone up to uh, do the tassel turning, but before we do that, I wanna give everyone here in the stadium some directions. Family and guests, we ask that you remain uh, in your seats until all graduates have been dismissed from their seats. They will exit out of the Northwest field level uh, exit from the stadium right back there. Uh, and head to the uh, International Fountain. Graduates, our staff members are heading, will head to the back of the field to form a tunnel to ce celebrate your graduation. After the tunnel is formed, our ushers will dismiss each row in reverse order starting with the back. Please walk through the tunnel and up to the International Fountain where you can reconnect with your family, friends, and loved ones. Now at this time, I'd like to introduce Corey Tanabe, to uh, finish us up with turning the tassel. Cleveland class of 2024, please rise. Now it's time to turn our tassels from right to left on the count of three. One, two, three. Congratulations, Cleveland! 